Hey, this is Dr. Tai from Premier Orthodontics, and in this video, we're gonna be doing a frequently asked questions video. So if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and tap that notification bell. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. So this question says, why do teeth still keep on moving even after having my teeth straightened twice already over a long period of time? They haven't shifted as much as before, but it's now only five years later, and some are already slightly moving out again. And yes, I wear my retainers and do have fixed upper and lower front teeth retainers. So first thing we'll mention is that our teeth always move as long as we're alive. So unfortunately, it's a part of life. So it's kind of like if you go to the gym and work out a lot, and then if you stop going to the gym, your body starts going back the way it started. So our body doesn't stay in one position. And so that includes our teeth. Our teeth move and we can get them in the right position, but over time they will start to move back. So like you mentioned, we do lots of things to try to keep them that way. So one is fixed retainers. Those are permanent retainers. The other is a removable retainer. And it sounds like you have both, which is great. Most likely my best guess would be you may need a new retainer. So over time, retainers do tend to stretch out, they get loose, and that does allow a small amount of tooth movement. It's kind of like a pair of eyeglasses. One set of retainers won't last you your whole life. We recommend our patients get a new set of retainers each year, and that is just to ensure that those retainers stay nice and tight, they stay nice and clean, and that's gonna help guarantee that the teeth stay in their proper position. But sometimes even with perfect retainer wear, your teeth will still, there's just that little bit of allowance in a retainer where they could shift ever so slightly. And so as much as we love teeth to stay perfect for life, sometimes we do have to accept just a small amount of you know, crowding or irregularity. It just may not be practical to have them perfect for everybody just because their teeth may not be as stable. So again, I wish there was a really good answer on how to keep your teeth from moving, but my best advice would be to visit your orthodontist, get a new retainer, Maybe ask to see if you can get multiple retainers. You can get maybe five or six sets, pay for those up front. And that way, every time you need a retainer, once a year, you can get a retainer that's just as tight as the first one. And that should help to maintain your correction. So moving on, this question says, I have an overbite. My orthodontist suggested to remove my two teeth. I'm scared to remove two perfectly healthy teeth, but I think it will be for the better because I hate my smile right now. So again, orthodontists are dentists. We like teeth as much as anybody. We go to dental school, we learn how to save teeth, we learn how to do fillings on teeth. When we become an orthodontist, our goal is to get a perfectly straight and healthy smile and bite. And for some patients, they may have too much teeth for their mouth, they have too much crowding, they have a small jaw and a lot of teeth. In those cases, taking out two perfectly healthy teeth, again, as much as we like them, is necessary in order to make them look good. The other option, in your case, you said you have an overbite, and so if we were to try to keep those two teeth, you'd end up with straight teeth and overbite. A lot of times there's no good way to correct a bite without removing two teeth if you want to avoid jaw surgery. So in order to correct an overbite, usually you have to either move the jaw through jaw surgery or move the teeth and sometimes moving the teeth will require two teeth being extracted. So one out of five patients of ours has extractions for braces. It's really not a big deal. It doesn't cause any long-term negative health effects. And by the time you're done, no one besides you, your dentist and your orthodontist will ever know that you had teeth removed. It's not something that's gonna be noticeable long-term and you'll be much happier with your smile. So like I said, the alternative is getting straight teeth but keeping your overbite, which you know is probably not the outcome that you want. So I would say, if your dentist or orthodontist recommended having two teeth out, that's probably the best treatment option. I would definitely recommend that. Next question, an overbite happened seven months in my braces journey. Will that be fixed later on? No extractions were needed, my ortho said. I didn't have a bad overjet prior to having braces, but my bottom teeth were crowded. So what likely happened is you had an overbite all along, but your teeth were in a position where it was less noticeable. So a lot of times, to kind of demonstrate with my hands, if your teeth are like this, but they're crowded, you might have an overbite, but you can't see. Once the teeth are straightened, they'll get kind of poking forward, and then that overbite is more obvious. So that's something that happens regularly. So most likely, if your dentist didn't recommend having teeth taken out of your orthodontist, then they may be trying to fix it with just using rubber bands or a forces spring or some other type of appliance. And so that may be an option. I would definitely ask your doctor to see if it's in the plan on how they're gonna fix that. So just know that it's, something you probably always had, it just wasn't noticeable until your teeth were straight. That's something that's pretty common. All right, next question on here. 
No, I don't want to push the upper back. I want to push the bottom to the front because there's a hole between my bottom lip and my chin because my lower teeth are pulled to the back, I guess because I took off two teeth. Please tell me what to do or what is this please? So again, interpreting this as best I can, it sounds like you have an overbite. The front teeth stick forward. The bottom teeth are too retrusive, but also the lower lip and the chin are retrusive. And so your desire would be to move the bottom teeth forward rather than moving the top teeth back. So whenever we correct overbites, there's really only a couple ways to do it. One is by moving the top teeth back, and that would usually include taking out two upper bicuspid teeth and then using braces to pull the front teeth back. That may not be the best option for everybody. So in your case, if you feel like you have a really retrusive lower jaw, that might need to be corrected instead. So if you're still young in your teenage or preteen years, there may be an option of using a Herbst appliance that helps to redirect growth to help that lower jaw come forward and correct the overbite that way. If you're past your teenage years, in order to correct the lower jaw, that is where jaw surgery would be needed. It's something that I would definitely recommend visiting an orthodontist to discuss your options. If you're still growing, they may recommend a Herbst appliance to see if they can get more of that lower jaw correction. If you're past those years, then you know surgery may be your best option. But again, I can't comment specifically on your case without seeing your teeth, knowing your age, knowing lots of different factors. So definitely see an orthodontist and they'll be able to give you a little bit better treatment plan. All right, next question. I have a posterior crossbite. It's very slight. My dentist said I need braces, but an orthodontist said there will be no long-term problems. But my jaw and teeth hurt sometimes when I'm eating. I sometimes bite my cheek and also when I'm just about just going about my day, more so when I'm eating. Do you think braces are necessary? So again, it's hard to comment without seeing your teeth, but if you have a posterior crossbite, if your bite is uncomfortable, if you're biting on your cheek and you would like to get that fixed, that is something that most likely can be fixed. So if the orthodontist you visited didn't feel it was necessary, it's not you know, a bad thing to seek a second opinion. Go visit another orthodontist and see what they say and see if it's something that they would recommend. So definitely give them all the information. Tell them exactly what you just told me. Tell them that your bite feels uncomfortable, that you're biting on your cheeks, and they may recommend braces as a good option for you. So based on your symptoms you describe, I think braces would probably be a good option and most likely some type of expander to help with the bite correction. I can't comment specifically without seeing your teeth, but again, I'd recommend seeking a second opinion just to get a little bit more information. So that was it for the questions. Hopefully you found these helpful. If you have any follow-up questions on these, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. We'll do our best to answer. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and make sure to tap that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon.